This video is brought to you by JLC PCB. In today's episode, you will learn how to make ESP8266 and NRF24L01 based IoT gateway for monitoring DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor using Arduino IoT Cloud. For the short range communication within 100 to 500 meters, these tiny low cost NRF24L01 transceiver modules are ideal because these are fast and easy to use and I'm saying this based on my personal experience is I have been using these NRF24L01 radio transceiver modules in different projects for quite a long time. Anyway, the components which I'm using in this project, I have already made beginners level videos on each one of these and likewise I have also a getting start video on the Arduino IoT cloud which is used for monitoring sensors and controlling devices from any part of the world using the internet. For demonstration purposes I'm using DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor but if you want you can also use DHT11 or any other sensor as per your requirement. Anyway here is a prototype model of my ESP8266 and NRF24L01 gateway. This is the transmitter side along which DHT21 sensor and NRF24L01 transceiver module are connected to the Arduino Nano. And this is the receiver side. The NRF24L01 radio transceiver module is connected with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Arduino Nano reads the DHT21 sensor and sends the temperature and humidity values to the receiver side IoT gateway using NRF24L01. On the receiver side, the NRF24L01 receives the transmitted data and gives it to the Node MCU ESP8266. After some processing, ESP8266 sends the temperature and humidity values to the Arduino IoT cloud where these values are displayed on the gauges. Now let's go ahead and start a practical demonstration. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. Feel free to visit their website jlcpcb.com slash scale to not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files. It automatically detects the number of layers and dimensions. Select the number of PCBs you want to order. Select your favorite PCB color. The price is automatically updated as you select different features. Finally, you can click on the Save to Cart button. You will only need to pay $2 for 1 to 4 layers PCBs and $0 for your PCB assembly. Besides this, JLC PCB also offers industrial 3D printing services starting at only $1. You can start by clicking on the first link in the description. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchased links are given in the description. VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 are connected with the Arduino 3.3V and ground pins. Don't forget to add a 10 microfarad decoupling capacitor between the VCC and ground pins. Connect the CE pin of the NRF24L01 with the Arduino pin 9, SCN with pin 10, SCK with pin 13, MOSI with pin 11 and MISO pin of the NRF24L01 with the Arduino pin 12. 
Connect the VCC and ground pins of the DHT21 sensor with the Arduino 5 volt and ground. Connect the signal pin or data pin of the DHT21 temperature and humidity sensor with the Arduino digital pin 2. Now let's take a look at the receiver side circuit diagram. VCC and ground pins of the NRF24L01 are connected with the node MCU ESP8266 3.3 volt and ground pins. Connect the CE pin of the NRF24L01 with the D4 pin on the node MCU module. SCN with D2, SCK with D5, MOSI with D7 and MISO pin of the NRF24L01 with the node MCU ESP8266 5M module D6 pin. On the left side, you can see a 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. You will need this power supply if you want to externally power up your node MCU module or else you can use your PC or laptop. These are the NRF24L01 development boards which I just received from the JLC PCB. I'll be using these boards for testing my NRF24L01 transceiver based projects. On the left and right side you can add different types of sensors and displays. I am really impressed with the PCB's quality. The silk screen is quite clear and the white color solder mask looks pretty amazing. Next I connected everything as per the circuit diagrams and now let's start working on the Arduino IoT cloud. I am not going to explain each and every step because I have already made a getting started video on the Arduino IoT cloud. Just follow the same exact steps.
wrote the code. Install the Arduino IoT Cloud Library. In the Arduino Secrets.h, we will add the SSID, password, and device key. Similarly, in the Thing Properties.h, we will also update the device ID. I made changes in the downloaded code as per my requirement. I added the required DHT and NRF24L01 libraries. You can download these libraries from our website electronicclinic.com or will provide a link in the description. I also added the SSID and password. I will also need to update the secret device key. Similarly, I will also need to update the device login name. Finally, you can upload the code. Now let's take a look at the transmitter side programming. First, you will need to install all the required libraries which you can download from our website electronicclinic.com. The purpose of this code is to read the humidity and temperature values from the DHT21 sensor. Store these values in the data array at locations 0 and 1 and then the Arduino sends the data array to the receiver side. I didn't explain things in detail because I have already made several videos on Arduino IoT Cloud, NRF24L01 and DHT21 sensor. So I'm just reusing the code. For a detailed explanation, you can watch my previous videos. Anyway, that's all for now. I have already uploaded the program and now let's watch the ESP8266 and NRF24L01 gateway in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.